Okay, I'm going to show you now how to use um, iTunes U. iTunes U is where the university is putting a lot of its uh, uh, video material and audio material and PDFs. And um, what you need to do is have iTunes installed on your computer. It's available for both Mac and PC. Um, go to the uh, Apple Store, um, so the Apple site, and you can download um, iTunes. It's a free application, works uh, on both uh, platforms. Anyway, here we are. Um, the interface is a bit cluttered because we, the way we get to see where iTunes U is, iTunes University, is to go via the store. And um, traditionally, people would probably have just their music, their movies, their TV shows, their podcasts, um, which is something we might look at later. And then uh, iTunes Store is where you go and find the actual university that's subscribed to the iTunes service. Um, looking down here, you can see iTunes U. It's a, it's a new um, offering. Just going to click in that. It'll open up. And what I'm looking at here is, um, these are just some feature pages. Um, what I'm looking at here is find educational providers, universities and colleges. I'm going to click on that. And here is the list of all the universities at the moment who are um, offering um, material on iTunes U. We're down here at UNSW. Click on that. And now we're getting to our home page. Uh, unfortunately, there is no shortcut to getting to um, this particular page. It would be good to be able to go directly to our stuff. But the way it works is you have to dive through um, iTunes, iTunes Store, and iTunes uh, universities and colleges, and then go and pick the university and college, which is um, our UNSW. And then that gets you to this site. Now, in here, um, we can see a number of um, windows. Here we've got some uh, feature, um, a tab. We've got some uh, lectures that are featured and some content from the community and support. You can also find um, stuff uh, pertaining to your uh, faculty uh, in these groups here. Um, and what I'm looking for today is to show you guys how you can um, subscribe to a uh, podcast. Um, the ones I'm going to show you are the ones that I've actually made and uh, those of us at Learning and Teaching have made in the section called uh, DIY Desktop. Double click on that. And now what we see here is um, a little icon uh, letting us know who it's from, uh, a short description, a DIY Desktop Video. So when you're filling out information, if you ever go down the path of making podcasts yourself, when you go down the path of um, filling information, that's what's called metadata, you'll need to um, fill this stuff in because it's important. Uh, the way iTunes works is that not only do you give a title to your piece of media, but you put in a description, keywords, artist, album, and uh, also uh, duration. It helps uh, iTunes sort all the information that it has uh, loaded on its website. Um, now, as you can see, these are the number of videos that are currently available, and there's also a PDF. Here are some videos on how to upload to YouTube, Here's one on how to make a web streaming file, um, and here's one on how to make a podcast file as well. This is the presentation that uh, Patrick Stoddart made from Learning and Teaching um, on UNSW TV, and here is the associated PDFs with that speech, so you can download both. And now, if I want to just download one video, I can double click that, and that individual video will download. But what we are trying to get people to do is to subscribe. If you click this button here, then what it'll do is it'll send a bit of information from iTunes U to your computer, in particular to your iTunes application. So when you um, are using iTunes on your computer and you can do uh, what they call a refresh um, of iTunes, it'll actually send a signal out from your computer going to the Apple iTunes store and to see whether any new material has been posted on um, any of the subscribed sites that you've subscribed to. So, for example, if you subscribe by pressing the subscribe button here to DIY Desktop Video, not only will you be able to download um, all the videos that are currently there, but if we decide to upload new and fresh material, um, you won't have to go looking for it. It'll uh, iTunes will already know it's there, and it'll ask you, do you want to download the new videos that have been uploaded on the um, DIY Desktop Video? So, if you try and think of this kind of... Um, use of the net is rather than you going, uh, you as a user going out there looking for information, um, what you do is you look for that information once and then you subscribe 
and what happens is the um, that information gets pushed to you automatically so it's a subscribe once model and rim receive information automatically you don't have to keep going back to that website so that's one of the beauties of having um, the podcast model or the vodcast model um, and also it's a good way of organizing courseware you can put all your lectures down um, in in order here and name them and also provide your PDFs and also offer people a variety of either video or audio which they can download onto um, their computer and uh, subsequently if you make them in the um, the podcast vodcast format you will also be able to um, allow people to download or transfer the video and audio and PDF files to their mobile devices such as uh, iPods and iPhones and iTouches. Anyway, um, that's all you need to do is to get to uh, view any of the stuff on uh, here. The same, it's the same uh, process for subscribing to courses and other videos and material available on iTunes U. So all you need to do is hit the subscribe button and uh, you will receive all future videos.